a resolution of what our concerns are. And uh, they are actually fourfold. Uh, first, we recognize that there is a problem of uh, money. And we recognize there is a problem of time. And we also recognize that if we do not come forth with a proposal to the Urban Arterial Board by their deadline, <coughs> which was designated by the state legislature, incidentally, that we would uh, lose out in a very large pot of uh, is it between 14 and 15 million dollars of funding. And I think this becomes p uh, key to why the uh, committee feels that we cannot wait any longer. We must proceed. Uh, Madam President, I sort of feel a little bit of sympathy for the committee and the committee chairman who have been given this problem to solve with a philosophy of think small when the problem is far larger than any small thinking can cope with. I have been aware of the West proposed West Seattle Bridge for more than a decade. And it's my understanding that even before I joined this August body, that way back in the course of thinking that somebody had the plan in mind. Thousands of people have shown that they have an interest in this bridge. And almost every one of us on this city council, except maybe Mr. Michael Hilt, has promised West Seattle a bridge at one time or another. So as I stand here this, today at this funeral exercise, <laughs> I say that the mayor has become the undertaker and has assigned the council to be the pallbearers. And I would like to take this opportunity to deliver the eulogy. The West Seattle Bridge is an idea that has persisted persisted for nearly 20 years. It attracted so much attention that some thought that it was not only supposed to benefit the people of West Seattle, but some thought it was supposed to benefit them financially. And as a result, it got delayed. And inflation set in, and so went the innovative spirit of those who were responsible to bring this great facility to our city. However, I want you to know, Councilman Benson, that I do expect a resurrection. <laughs> and at some sweet day, we will meet in some place I can't explain right now. <laughs> but I feel sure that it will be another council and another mayor where the beautiful dreams of better bridges will flow eternally. <laughs>
and I was the engineer on the upstream bridge for the city engineer's office, uh, uh, also the contractor on Montlake Bridge, and my father built East Lake Bridge during World War I. And having built a large number of bridges, both bascule and lift bridges, I have these comments to offer. Uh, I don't think that all the alternatives have been searched here in view of the uh, uh, curvature involved in these studies and uh, uh, the economics of the cost of um, this type of construction. My name is John Cranick. I live at 2003 Franklin Avenue East. It's in the Capitol Hill area, but I'm still interested in this bridge. <clears throat> Uh, how about a tunnel? Has anybody ever looked into that? Under the waterway? <coughs> Where the existing approaches are now, the existing bridge. It'd be a lot safer and uh, got a lot less money to operate and maintain. <coughs> Have you looked into that? Uh, Madam Chairman, uh, first of all, let me heartily congratulate you on the extraordinary yeoman's work you've been doing in trying to bring a package together. And uh, from all I've been able to determine, you are achieving the unachievable, and you should be properly lauded for that effort and that effectiveness. Second thing is that um, nobody, whether it's Port County or uh, State, is going to really step out front and make a commitment till after the city of Seattle has made it commitment that here's the way we are willing to go. And I think the time now is for the city to make its commitment that here's the way we want to go. And then I feel sure that from all I've learned that at least two of those entities you mentioned will follow suit. But nobody should get out in front of us. And I think you've got the concept together. And I think we ought to authorize you to go ahead and get it into resolution form and bring it to the city council on Monday for us to say to the world, this is what we want to build, this is what we'd like to build, and we're committed to that. So we're ta are talking a high-level bridge. Yes. And I uh, hear everybody at the table saying the same thing. Um, my, my reasoning follows everybody else's here. I, I, we're talking to something that's so long-range, so final, that we have to be sure that we have the the best decision made that we can. Uh, I would like to see a resolution in support of the high level bridge. Uh, I would like to put a uh, time constraint on it though too because I uh, share the uh, feeling of responsibility that if something starts falling apart that we are able not to uh, deter our actions. Uh, if you'll allow me the latitude of uh, uh, talking at the state level, which I'll be doing this afternoon, I will be a lot better able to address that. So if we could leave that, I'm talking potentially maybe uh, uh, a week or two. But it, that's the one latitude I'd like to have. As I say, my days are backwards, unfortunately. If I was able to meet yesterday instead of today, this afternoon I'd been able to do a better assessment of time. Uh, with the other two agencies, I, uh, I feel that they will act uh, quite uh, expeditiously. Um, so why don't we, uh, instead of getting the details now, we've gotten into a lot of uh, uh, problems that have been uh, raised. I think they have to be addressed, answered, and uh, sorted out. But I, perhaps the best thing we can do is come forth with a, uh, a rather simple resolution for Monday in support of a high-level bridge with some caveats attached to it, probably. And then we'll serve ourselves better, and then we can identify the uh, difficulties and address them one at a time. So uh, if somebody would like to. Will be meeting next week on this? We'll have to. We'll have to set up special meetings. And I think what we'll do is uh, uh, put out public notice so that everybody's aware of what we're meeting and how we're going to explore maybe 120 Yes. I think we'll ask staff to prepare a, a very general resolution so that allow us latitude to move within it. And we'll bring that up for introduction and uh, adoption. I'll move your suggestion. Second. All right. All right, and those in favor will say aye. Aye. Sure, votes aye. Okay.
be our action. Thank you all for coming and following the continued saga. <laughs>